Okay, so I'm going to tell you a story about from my when I was in middle school in home economics class. So the teacher said, uh, we, we had like a piece of paper and it has words on it. Like one of the words was dresser because we were covering like about your bedroom. And I asked, I raised my hand, asked the teacher, I said, what's a dresser? And she yelled at me. And then I turned to the girl next to me and said, what's, what's a dresser? And she said, you put your clothes in it. And it was like, it doesn't make any sense. Isn't a dresser, I mean, it sounds like by the word that someplace where you get dressed, like it's like a room that you enter or, or a piece of furniture that opens up and you walk inside and you get dressed. I mean, isn't that the definition of the word dresser? She says, no. She said, it's the thing with the drawers you put your clothes in. So um, I, I still wasn't sure what a dresser was, but I kind of had the right idea because I had a dresser in my room. And uh, so another word was washcloth. And what happened was our home ec class, we had a kitchen. And I always was at the back because, you know, I... I was antisocial, you know, I didn't want to be near the teacher. And uh, she says, hand me the washcloth. So she's at the front of the class. There's all these students and then me, like 30 people. She says, hand me the washcloth. And I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? You know, there's a, I saw stuff there. And, I was, and she said, and everyone's pointing at like this one particular item. And I said, this? And he said, yeah, yeah, that, that, that's a washcloth. And I was like, that doesn't make any sense. It's a cloth. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Why do you call it a washcloth? It's not like a washing machine. And then they say, oh, well, you use it to wash your dishes. And I was like, no, I wash my dishes with a sponge. You, are you telling me that sponge is called a washcloth? I mean, I, I just didn't get it. So there was an, another time when the teachers, because again, you know, I'm sitting in the back near the kitchen. She says, hand me a dish rag. And I'm looking at it. I'm like, I don't see any dishes. What's a dish rag? And everyone's pointing, you know, and I said, that's not a dish rag. That's a rag. Why are you calling it a dish rag? There's no dish. And, uh, you know, I told them what it's called in Italian. Uh, they, in Italian, we would call it a mopping, which means, you know, small mop. <laughs> it's your mop. So another word was wardrobe. And, I, you know, I'm like, I know the book the line the witch in the wardrobe it's a closet and they're telling and then they tell you no it's a piece of furniture it's like how can it be a closet and a piece of furniture and i know that wardrobe means clothing so I, it just doesn't make any sense so another word is butcher knife and i'm like what is a butcher knife i don't get it butcher means to kill people so you, you expect me to believe that americans have square knives in their kitchens to kill people with no, no, it's for beef or for chicken. And it's like, what, what do you do? You bring cattle into your home and you, and you, and you hit it with the butcher knife? I, I just don't get it. So then there's another word. You know, we, we talked about the kitchen often. Sewing was big in home ec. We had to make like a duffel bag. And the bedroom. And, and I guess there were other things, like making breakfast was one of the things we did. So one of the words is headboard. And I'm like, what's a headboard? And guess what everybody's going to say? They're going to say, um, oh, it's, uh, you know, it's a board, like a wood board near your head when you sleep. And I'm like, what, you telling me that Americans keep pieces of wood in their bed? They sleep on them like pillows or something? I know people use pillows. <laughs> what is this piece of wood? I've never seen a piece of wood in somebody's bed. I had no no idea what they were talking about. And it's like, when I was a kid, my father said, when I was a child, he said, you have to learn English. You know what I mean? I remember the teacher talking to my father. And, and I remember him saying, you have to learn English. But my, my mother refuses to speak English. You understand what I mean? So because she refuses to speak English, she doesn't know the words in English. She doesn't know what a dresser is. And how am I supposed to learn? My father doesn't know what scissors are. And he doesn't even know what a calculator is. He calls it a computer. <laughs> Scissors, he calls shears. So, you know, it was difficult with the language barrier for home economics. For home economics class, class it was difficult. And there were a few other things. I'm not going to say what they are. 
that were difficult. But I just, you know, the teacher did not make it any easier because if I ask a question, you know, what's a washcloth, they'd start screaming at me. And you just end up not knowing. Okay, so that's just a funny story about when I was younger. Uh, home ec would have been seventh and eighth grade. It was the same teacher, so I guarantee you it was in seventh grade when I learned all these words. Okay, if you have any questions or comments, please post below.